All right, hello YouTube. So we're gonna backfill this thing with fiberglass cloth and resin. We're actually using the fiberglass kit that I have talked about in this video in the link below uh, in the descri description. And actually what we got here is the resin, we got the hardener, and let's go ahead and apply it. I'm just gonna fill this up. I know there are multiple ways to fix this. Same with metal. You can actually pack, cut, cut the same exact patch, put it there, and with a stainless steel or copper uh, wire, heated wire, you can actually uh, hook them all together and apply filler on the top. You can do that, but in this video, we're gonna go ahead and apply the fiberglass and show the result, see what it looks like. Eye protection is very important. Remember, you gotta wear it. You don't want to get any of that thing in your eyes. And if you ever happen that applied this with a fiberglass kit here and then sanding it, you always wear, um, always wear some protection because we cannot breathe fiberglass. All right, even this smell, of this thing is nasty. So let's apply some of that here. All right, so what you need to do, just apply some and add some hardener. Now there's no rule of thumb of how much hardener you can add. Actually, you can just add a few drops in this. That's what I usually do. I might have talked about it in the previous video, but most of the description here uh, does just straight talk about safety and stuff. Uh, anyway, so the this material you can add as needed. It depends on actually. It depends on how the temperature outside and stuff. But usually I'm just gonna put just this amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's probably plenty. All right, I'm gonna find me a stick. All right, I'm doing this with a stick, but you can be fancier. Oh man, this thing smells strong. It does smell really strong. If you feel like you're a little bit like concerned about the amount of hardener, add some more. It won't hurt. As long as you don't let it sit for too long. Alright, we put about like seven drops in here. And definitely I'm gonna show you that it's not a big deal. Always mix small proportion and let's say something like this much just put as much as I put a hardener. I was exaggerating putting too much just to show you that it's not a big deal. Okay, so once you're done mixing, if you are working in the driveway or whatever, don't ever throw the thing around the dogs, animals or whatever. That thing is nasty. Anyway, I got a brush and that's what I usually do to just dip it in there and I'm gonna go from the back and I'm gonna apply I'm gonna go from the back and I actually apply some of that stuff um, go ahead and do it and before doing that before doing that let's measure what we need to cut and let's cut it like I said, this stuff, this stuff is extremely cheap. I won't say that. It's not extremely cheap, but you got plenty. So don't worry about it. If you mess up, you cut another one. Okay. See, it's about good enough. So. Of course, you don't want to apply that on the outside, we're going to apply it from the inside. 
a good practice is to take a sandpaper and sand the area behind it which I'm going to go ahead and do it for demonstration purposes I'm going to flip it but if you can't access like I said get yourself get yourself a good file file all that surface I actually take that by hand because I did some cuts to, to make it clean all right don't forget your protection and get yourself this now we're gonna just spread it around spread it around I might just be able to fast forward this. We're gonna let this cure and best situations is let it cure for the rest of the day come back to it after 24 hours we'll come back after 24 hours and see what happens the thing is if you don't have access to it let us say the part is still on the vehicle how are we going to insert this piece um, now there is a easy trick to do it which is right, i'm going to show the result you. and we are here exactly 24 hours of curing time um i'd say just let it cure as long as you can and try not to be in a rush and actually it feels good um now on this side next step is sanding a little bit more all the way around and then fill it with bondo and you're good to go if you still feel like it's too thin that you need another layer go ahead mix another resin container just spread it around and add another layer put another uh, coat of resin and you're good to go. This is a piece of fiberglass that I just put on the side Just to show you Now it is solid here and soft on the sides What you can do If you don't have access from the back you can coat the sides on the back through the front with uh, just uh, the brush and resin and you can fold and actually gonna fold it like it keeps on falling. You can follow it around and insert it. Once it goes in the hole like that, I just actually put this uh, size that match this match just this hole. But I'm just giving you the idea. You can just fold it and just insert it. Now, if you're worried about it falling, is when it's wet, you can put like a a nail or even just uh, a piece of wire or metal in a u-shape and then once you're done you can just push it push it back or cut it I would say just cut it and it's going to be covered anyway 